Good morning. Craig Howard here. Happy to be with you again this morning. Um, I'll be headed home today. But um, I was reading something this morning that was kind of interesting. Um, on her last visit to Sydney, Australia for uh, the celebration of the reconstruction, remodeling, redoing of a building in her honor, um, Queen Elizabeth the second uh, who just died last year at the ripe old age of 96 um, she left a letter to the mayor of Sydney and uh, in Sydney Australia and it was to be sealed up and not opened until 2085 nobody knows what the letter says nobody knows what's in it nobody has a clue even her closest aides don't know what the queen put in that letter nobody has any idea but she left this letter to a future uh, a message to a future mayor um and it's going to be interesting you know i don't know if i'll be around 2085 uh probably not but um it, it's it's for those that are alive at that time uh it's going to be interesting for them to see what the message is and what the queen said and what she found uh, why it was so important that that message be sealed up you know the Bible in some ways is a little bit like that God says you know I hear people all the time say well I just don't understand the Bible I just don't understand the Bible well Jesus told us that when he would leave he had to leave so that so that the comforter would come who would lead us and guide us in all truth. The, com the comforter, of course, is the Holy Spirit. And he said, I've got to go so he can come and he will be your guide, he'll be your instructor. The Bible tells us in other places that there are parts of the Bible that are not for people that are outside of the faith to understand. Um, it makes me wonder sometimes when I hear somebody say, well, I don't understand the Bible. It makes me understand, it makes me wonder about two things. Number one, how much are you relying on the Spirit of God to teach you and instruct you and show you and apply that word to your life? Because it's not enough to just read it. You have to find ways to apply it or it's meaningless. Um, and it just makes me wonder sometimes how much people are relying on it. And it also makes me wonder if that person really has any kind of a relationship with God at all. Because... Uh, it says in, oh, nuts, what was it, Matthew chapter 13, I believe it is, uh, verse 11, that it is given for you to understand and not for those that are outside of the faith. Um, there are parts of the Bible that only apply to God's people, that only apply to those who have come into a relationship with Jesus Christ and understand uh, that the Word of God is to re be revealed through that relationship and without that relationship there isn't going to be a clear understanding there can be speculation but there isn't going to be a clear understanding it's not that God's trying to hide his word or trying to hide himself it's just that things aren't going to make sense if you try to understand them from strictly a worldly perspective and so many people are trying to grasp God's Word from a worldly perspective instead of from a spiritual perspective and so it doesn't make sense to them. So my question to you today is do you feel like God's hiding something from you in his word? He's not trying to but if you don't know if you're not in a relationship with him and you don't allow the Holy Spirit to work in your life to show you what he's trying to portray what he's trying to teach us then oftentimes we run into a situation where we're not going to get it. So if you're struggling, sit down and have a talk with God. He doesn't want his word hidden from you. He wants to re reveal it. And it's not written down for you to understand it at some future date. At least most of it's not. There are some things we're not going to get till we get to heaven. We're not going to completely understand. We're going to think we have it right. We're going to get to heaven and we're going to go, wow, I didn't get that. Um, but uh, God wants to reveal himself and his word to you, but you need to know him. Well, I hope you have a great day today. 
I'm going to finish some things up and get headed home before too long. But uh, you take care. God bless. I hope you have a wonderful day today. Aunt Judy, if you're watching, I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.